Here's the thing. I run my own art school that teaches many students from around the world and all different skill sets. I've given feedback to over hundreds of students. I've drawn over countless of artworks and produced top-notch courses. But I have never taken my own courses in full. I've developed them in a way I learn art myself, but sitting through them as a student, getting feedback, applying that feedback, and finishing the full course, I am yet to do. So here's the plan. I'm going to sign up for ArtWad's basic membership using a fake profile. Then I'll start blazing through the beginner course and do all the assignments. Lastly, I'll immerse myself in the ArtWad community by joining live streams and asking for feedback just to test my teachers. <laughs> so the first thing I need to do is I need to sign up to ArtWad using a different username. So I'll, I'll choose something random because obviously I can't go as myself. I need to test the course. I need to interact with the community and no one can know it's me. I also need to ask feedback to the teachers to see what kind of, you know, feedback or help they give me. My name is Antonio and I'm the founder of here, starting your beginner drawing That's me. The reason you're here is because you want to improve your drawing skills. And more specifically, probably That's true. your drawing from graduation skills. And welcome to the Artboard program. Woo, I'm excited. Let's go. Pencil? No, don't need that. Fineliner? Don't need an eraser and all the other I have here. Let's start one point perspective. All right, so here we go. First lesson. What's really interesting about doing this assignment is that it's all it also really trains your hand-eye coordination so it really trains you and I, I advise everyone to do this traditionally as well really focusing on like where you need to draw in space not just randomly drawing things but really trying to understand how you want to draw things in space so that's one two three four five six seven That's it, that's my stuff. It's actually very peaceful to do this. And I don't know what everyone's complaining about. It's not that hard. No, it's really it's really a nice exercise. And I like that we go through using guidelines and then not using guidelines and just seeing if you can understand the perspective in which you're drawing. It really gives you more of that spatial awareness. Cool, so on to the next one. So uh, thoughts on module one, I really like it. Duh, Antonio, you made it. No, I, I do seriously mean it because going through it, even I ha got a better grasp on spatial awareness just by doing the exercises again. I thoroughly enjoyed going through model one, even though it's boxes and cylinders. It's something that's still fulfilling when you make something that looks legitimately believable in space. Module one, good to go. All right, so I'm gonna do the second module now, and this is exciting because it's the figure module. I know a lot of our students struggle with this particular module, and I'm keen to see why. And I've done lesson one already, and I'm now going to ask feedback on lesson two. And I'm gonna put some little sneaky mistakes in there and see if they pick up on it. Okay, so I completed lesson two of the second module on figures. Overall, it is challenging trying to get all of the figure proportions, even though it's a simple mannequin in the correct order in perspective is a challenging exercise. I have really messed up these two on purpose and I've left out one 
because I needed to do 10 and we're usually very strict with this. We'll see what they say. I know who's going to review it. So I'm still excited to see what they say and what feedback they give me. And if they catch all of the little mistakes I kept in there. All right, so excited, let's see. I've gone through module two and three now, and overall I get it. They're a little bit harder than module one because you have to get into using the correct proportions in space, where in module one, you're just using boxes, not really caring about proportions in, you know, just in space, trying to feel that spatial awareness. Now you have to really get, you know, figure mannequins and cars and whatnot. So it is harder, but this is really where the magic starts happening. This is where things start clicking because you have to put things in relation to one another in space. This is where you start achieving and cultivating that spatial awareness. So I'm not gonna make the modules easier. They're fantastic for you to go through. So highly, highly recommend. Two and three, good to go. All right, so now it's time to join our Teaching Tuesday, which is a weekly streaming event that we do for the ArtWatch students where they can ask feedback live from the teachers based on the ArtWatch work that they did throughout the week or previous times. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in some artwork for feedback and it's artwork that I made when I was like just starting out. It's really not that good and I'm gonna ask a question that's a little bit awkward <laughs> I just want to see how Ogden deals with it I'm sure he'll still get fantastic feedback so excited let's go I'm not gonna be the first one to post though I'm gonna wait a little bit there we go okay let me read this out uh, it says big fan of mine thank you um, All right. Uh, he's not. He's not reading it out loud. Um. All right. Let's uh. Let's look at the drawing here. Well, as I said, I would make it a little more buff. <laughs> and that is to try and make long lines. Um. So, so that's the first thing. What is the longest kind of line that I can make here? Because you have like a, a higher control and a more like specific line, but it will also make you faster in a lot of cases. I want to get Augie to say, this looks attractive. Or how to make it more attractive. Instead of just having a curve that's like this with the apex right in the middle. Makes the figure more attractive. <laughs> it, well, in terms of the, the shape, if, if you're looking for, let's say like, uh, I guess, Uh, more attractive. One thing, uh, this is sort of really. He said attractive. All right, so that was awesome. Thank you, Augie. Fantastic feedback, as always. <laughs> we tried to make him a little bit awkward. I hope we succeeded, but he handled it beautifully, professionally. As you can see, the feedback was amazing. It was actually what you need to hear as a student, especially at this stage. Our teachers do that for every stage. So again, fantastic work, Augie. Join a fun community, because that's absolutely the best part of it. Well, I got feedback, so let's see. It says new feedback available. Needs more work. So they definitely found something. Well done, the mannequins look quite good. However, there are two that are not completely understandable. Ooh, he found them. He found them. Very nice. The first one you're looking from below the mannequin, not following the perspective. Second pose, the legs are awkward. So we have to redo these mannequins. Okay, he found them. He did, however, not see that I only did nine on the second assignment. I'll have to, I'll have to tell him that. I'll have to tell him that. But anyway, I do like it. Like they, the, the major mistakes they found. So that's great. We have great teachers. I already knew that. It's not a surprise, but it was fun to see. Now all I have to do is fix these and move on. All right, so here we are. End of the course. I'm at the final lesson. I've gone through everything I needed to go through. Overall, I love the course and I know that I build it, but that's what you do. Like you build the things you're passionate about and just going through that again, I could, def I could see that passion and I could see that I'm generally trying to help people get better at spatial awareness. So I would highly recommend doing that course. As you can see, there's lots of stuff to do. Look at all the things I did. I'm actually very proud of that. Even though they're like simple sketches, it's so good to maintain all of them. So, 
Right now, left is the final assignment, which would basically where we bring everything together. Draw organic figure, hard surface, and blend it into one scene. This is almost like your introduction into illustration, into design, into storytelling. It's a super fun assignment. We've seen fantastic submissions on it from our students. We have some really cool things planned for this channel, by the way. Anyway, subscribe, go check out Artwatt. That's the best thing you can do actually, and just have fun drawing. Remember that. Have fun with your art, have fun with drawing, painting, whatever you want to do. And thank you so much for watching and see you later.